Some of you might have watched several pictures, photos on the internet of giants, giant skeletons found in desert, in India, in China and other places. Most of those photos were competition photos to present Photoshop. Perfectly done. I also was quite impressed when I received first time one of those photos. But these photos I'm showing you now, they are definitely not coming out from a Photoshop competition. These photos are real skulls and skeletons. This skull was found in a tunnel system underground in Colombia. The skull is dated up to 11,000 years. The skull is bigger than normal skull and the front teeth of the jaw are lined up in a different way than our teeth. Here you have a very old photo done in a museum in La Valletta in Malta and it shows several long skulls and the explanation is deformed skulls but they are very long going to the back. This is one of several very very strange skulls. They are presented in a small museum in Ica in Peru. Ica is located close to the famous Nazca lines and the museum is called Museo Maria Reiche. The German lady who was researching her whole life about the Nazca lines and in this museum you can see the most strange skulls I ever saw, all found in this area close to the Nazca lines. So the question is what kind of humans were living there and how did they get those skull forms? And especially this one, definitely several doctors and experts told me it would not be possible to create such a kind of deformation because through deformation you do not get the double bone material on the skull and on this skull even you have particles of the skin and hairs and I think it would not be difficult to do a age dating and especially a DNA analysis of this skull. On this picture I show you some legendary skeleton forms of giants in the year of 1964 in the south of Ecuador in the province Loja there broke down a part of a mountain platform and Father Carlos Vaca who was working as a priest in hospitals he was called to this place and he found the broken bones of a giant.